This is my six inch rigid jointer. And today I'm gonna upgrade it with this helical head to replace the straight knives that come with it. This one is a Lux Cut 3 that I picked up from mywoodcutters.com. Now there are three reasons why I wanna upgrade. And the first one being the loudness of these straight knives. Here I've got my iPhone about four feet away. And as I turn it on, you can see it's about 77 decibels. Not bad, but when I start cutting, it's gonna be 102, almost 103. And that is really, really loud. So I'm gonna take three passes with this piece of quilted maple just to see how loud it is every time. And you'll notice that it's gonna jump up to about 102.5 on all three passes. And that is super loud. And just imagine using this all day long to joint an entire project. That's a lot of noise. Now the cut quality from these straight knives is really not that bad. However, I do have a really big nick in one of them and it leaves this really long line right down the board. And you can probably see that in a minute. Also, the other thing about these straight knives is the chips. They always gum up and get stuck in the dust chute there, and then they never make it into my dust collector. And as you can see here, they're pretty, pretty large. There's a pile of them from that board, and you can see that line that I was talking about right there. And there's a little bit of tear out because this is quilted maple. Now, safety first, I'm gonna unplug it and then start tearing everything down by removing the the plastic guard, taking the fence off, careful not to drop that nut underneath, and then also be super careful when you're taking the fence off because if you drop this, you're gonna hurt yourself and probably break that fence. Next, I'm going to loosen the two bolts that hold on the back fence assembly plate. I don't know what to really call that. But then I'm gonna remove the pulley guard and then I'm going to carefully walk off the belt and then we will be able to remove that pulley. Now there are two set screws that hold the pulley on and mine was just a little bit tight. It was not wanting to come off on its own. So I got my three jaw gear puller and it came right off by hand. Oh, don't forget that little key. Now there are only two bolts left holding that straight knife head in, one in the front, one in the back. The back one will come out and fall down the dust chute the front one will be captured by the frame itself. And just like that, the old head slides right out. Now here you see me using the three jaw gear puller to get these bearing blocks off of the old head because you're gonna reuse them on the new Lux Cut helical head. Real simple, I'm using my dog holes here in my outfeed table and then also a wooden clamp to hold it still so I can just use those gear pullers and pull those blocks right off. Simple as that. Now I'm keeping the new head in the packaging that it came with to my advantage to wrap it up with some painter's mask so I don't cut myself because these helical heads have some really, really sharp blades and the last thing I want to do is cut myself when I'm trying to upgrade my machine. So after I've got it all wrapped up nice and tight, I'm going to then take it out of the box that it came in and use my dog holes in my assembly table to then reattach the bearing block assemblies on both sides. I've got the pulley shaft inside that dog hole and I'm just going to town with that rubber mallet, but it was not good enough for the other side. I had to actually go and get a three pound sledge, but I got them on. And then reassembly is just as easy as it was to take it out, simply slide it in, get it nice and lined up. And then you want to reattach those bolts from underneath. Make sure you remember which way is tight. And I did have to get that sledge back out with a piece of wood to get that pulley on because it just was a little bit too snug, but she went back on. Now I'm going to walk my belt back onto the pulley nice and easy and watch your fingers. Very nice. And here is where I thought I could take a little extra time to do a little maintenance, clean up the beds and then spray them with some Bostic glide coat. I love this stuff. You spray it on, let it dry, and then you just come back, buff it off, and it is super, 
super slick. I'll put a link in the description below for this stuff. Next comes that most satisfying step of unraveling that tape and revealing those really awesome helical knives. Now I'm going to save you the time of watching me reassemble everything and just know that it went fine. But let's see how loud this new head is. Now here's the kind of crazy part. It's a little bit louder than the straight knives, but I'm guessing that's because of the mass. It's a little bit heavier than the straight knives head. But let's see how loud it is when it cuts. And here is the proof in the pudding. You see that the DBs only jump up to about 90 to 93. That is a drastic, drastic reduction in decibels from the 102.5 to almost 103 with the straight knives. And the quality of cut is so much better also. And as I grab a handful of the shavings, let me bring them over to the table and we will compare the two. On the right, we have the helical head shavings. On the left is the straight knives. But check out the smoothness. You can't really see it, but it is so smooth. There's that nick I was referring to earlier, but it is so smooth. And look at that quilt. Beautiful. No sanding needed. Love it. So, is the helical head worth it? Yeah, I think so. And I'm really going to enjoy having it in the shop. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time.